Seven for 11 with a double a homer four walks last year in the regional. Bush with a drive to right center field well struck. Bridges back in center up against the wall he can't reel it in. Michael Bush a man for the postseason. A leadoff ringing double for North Carolina. Right here at the wall. It, that's the tough part too. When you're coming into these new, new stadiums, you you know the stadium because they've played here before, but you really don't know it like it's your own field. So the guy on deck. Ashton McGee awaits. 3-2 for Ike Freeman. And a line shot for the first run of the regional. 1-0 North Carolina on a base hit by Ike Freeman. That's what we're talking about right there. That's 3-2. I know you want to be aggressive, but you have to make sure that you know that there's a lefty on deck, and you, you can mess with that right-handed hitter. But Ike Freeman, 3-2, still aggressive, fastball. That's what happens. Nice line drive right back up the middle. Junior from Knoxville, Tennessee. Harris, fair ball to right. He'll turn first. He's a speedster. And Dylan Harris slides in with an easy second inning double. I said I like this guy's swing. In, in batting practice, he was, he was very, very easy and fluid during batting practice. Fastball in right here, and he kept his hands inside. Maybe not, not hit well, it actually probably helped him because he, he could have been able to be thrown out at second base if he was hit, if it hit harder. But you see him getting out of the gate, running fast. I would never know what is handcuffed as a coach to be able to call certain pitches. In the air to left field off the bat of Tesser. This is gone. Dallas Tesser who was just put into the lineup last week for the ACC tournament, hits his first home run of the season. How about this kid in the last two weeks? He has more hits, more RBIs, and now more home runs in the last five games and the rest of the year combined. That was hit well. Fastball in, was able to stay inside of it. And like you said, and we talked about this before, before the game started. There's guys that will be able to finish strong and will be a big part of these regional. Another record setting here with all the regional hosts out of the SEC. Brooks Baldwin with a nice two strike swing and that ball gets past the dive of Dylan Enweiler. Brooks Baldwin around second he'll hold there with a leadoff double. Tough one right there for the left fielder, Noah Lyles. It's, I mean, this is this is a ball that's hit kind of in between no man's land. You're trying to make a play, and uh, you know, unfortunately, it gets back. And excuse me, it's it's Dylan Enweiler, and it, that's it. That's one of those where maybe some white flag. It's good to have you here. Three one. Lyles elevates this one. That will get the run in. Dylan Harris makes the catch. He'll load up and show off the arm, but it's nowhere close on a sacrifice fly for Noah Lyles. And UNCW is on the board in the fourth. I love that toss in right there. That, there was no chance at all uh, to be able to get the. Tatter bomb to Noah Bridges, cleanup hitter for UNCW, and Bridges gets a hold of this one. That's right field back. deep. Jeez. No, it is not. That was hit into that field out there. Wow. Noah Bridges with his fourth home run of the season. It's a one run game. Well, we've been talking about it. They've gone first pitch breaking ball. And then what's the next pitch that comes? The fastball and what happens? That thing was hit. A mile. You got to be careful. Not that necessarily it's the pattern that got him in trouble. You're, you're, you're 18 to 22. Thorburn with a rocket to center field. Another solid base hit. Seventh hit for UNCW and the second for the freshman Chris Thorburn.
you know, I, I, there goes Thorburn, and the pitch is grounded through the right side. Thorburn will go first to third. UNCW moves the tying run 90 feet away with one out in the sixth. Nope, I don't pick again. I throw a fastball and now have first and third and one out. But this is a good job. As a lefty, this is what you're looking to do. When there's someone on first base, you know that there's that hole right there. You want to be able to pull it in that hole. That's the advantage of a left-handed hitter. Two and one on Matt Suggs. Suggs to left field, well struck. Enweiler is back. It's over his head. Off the wall and a hop. Thorburn scores. Lyles coming home. UNCW takes the lead. The unlikeliest source of power in this lineup. Matt Suggs has walked once and doubled twice. And that ball was smoked into left field. Get a fastball right here, and it is smashed. And, and good for him on being ready for that 2-1 fastball. Foot down early. Get on your horse as a catcher. See the man tagging at third base. Good read. Good baseball right there. And how about the momentum? Good hitter with two strikes, so. With one strike, he singles to left. Sabato waved home. We are tied in Chapel Hill. Throw behind it first, and it kicks off the glove of Baldwin. Freeman will stay right there. His second RBI single of the game. We're just talking about it. His only out is a line out today. Obviously feeling good. Gets a pitch. Pulls it in that hole. You see the left fielder come in, try to make a play. He kind of hesitates right there. Does no allow. And uh, this is why you hit the cutoff, right? You you watch the, you, they. 60-40. Which way? Morals, 60. 2-2. Two -two. Line to center field, base hit Bartorado. Here comes Ike Freeman. He will score. North Carolina retakes the lead. The throat feels good, and so does the swing for Brandon Martorado. There it is. All you need is just a, a block ball into the throat, and you come up and hit an absolute missile up the middle right there. You'll see this, this uh, pitch just deposited right back up the middle. Two outs. You know you're running on contact. Not really worried. He did overthrow that cutoff, which I think that... And sometimes it's as a grade above 80, they would give it to Greg Jones. And he's hit. And so we'll get to see it. Greg Jones hit for the 12th time this year. Tying run at first, and who knows that he can change the game. Jones on the move, and Martirano does not throw. One and two on Brown. And he chased strike three, but the ball gets away. This goes into the North Carolina dugout. Brown is on at first. Jones is over at third. And UNCW is going to have runners at the corners with one out. Not yet touched third when the ball went in the dugout. Here's Bridges, and there's a ground ball to second base. McGee bobbles it. Tie game. He looked at the runner before he caught the ball. He tried to he tried to make the play before he caught the ball, and it ended up backfiring on him. The coaches used to always say you can't you can't have two outs before you get the first one. You see, he checks out this runner here. You know, and trying to make things happen. He knows that he has to get this double play. You don't have much time. Rhodes can run. hit left field for Thorburn. Here comes Brown around third. The throw from Tessa is in time. What a strike to the plate.
This will certainly be reviewed. No question, this is going to be looked at. As it stands, it is an out at the plate on a one-hop dart from Dallas Tesser. And here comes the most consequential review of the season for these teams. Great swing by Thorburn. What a throw by Tesser. I mean, you know that he was put in for his defense. Gosh, what a great throw, but I mean, great swing, great throw. There's not much you could really say about that. It, it looked like he was out, but. Remember, Dallas Tester started this game in right field, moved to left in the seventh inning. Perfect posi position by the catcher. Perfect one hop throw. And Ooh. we might have a little action here. We might have a little action. This this angle you can't tell, but the angle before looked like to me, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that Kep Brown gets his foot in there. Right there. Wow. I think he's safe. Yeah. Now the question was his foot up in the air or did his foot get the base. Firm punch out call by the umpire Very right firm. there. Yes. Wow. Nice form. Very aggressive. By Rick Allen. <laughs> Rick. Rick dialed it in right there. Rick brought his A game to the regionals. So again. The call is out. We need conclusive evidence to overturn and we have it. Safe is the call. Brown. 65240 junior looking for the save he'll face Aaron Sabato who takes aim at the first pitch and ties this game one run will not do it oh my goodness one run with that guy coming up wow the first bit of the year in the ACC Hits his 15th home run. Ambush right here, getting ready. You know he's going to come at you. He wants to throw strike one, fastball. I mean, goodness gracious. And you knew right away, you knew it was gone, bat flip. I got chills right now. This was phenomenal. This is unbelievable. Wow. You know, hittable. And he walks Serretti. North Carolina has the winning run on with nobody out. Serretti, the freshman at first. And the pitch is low for ball four. So Ike Freeman walks. And North Carolina has two runners on. Nobody. A fly ball to medium anywhere should do it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they got the runner hung up. Soretti coming to the plate, oh and the throw goodness. is high! Wow! Are you kidding me? Missed, it was a missed squeeze. A missed squeeze turned into a walk-off. Somehow, someway, this game is over. North Carolina has won. Wow! What in the world did we just see? He saw a hitter, missed the sign, a runner take off, it was supposed to be a suicide squeeze, turned into the best outcome for, you see the runner come into play right here, that's a suicide squeeze, you see Forbes at third base, the third base coach questioning what just happened, and then the overthrow, game over, watch, you'll see, you'll see Forbes going, what just happened, that's supposed to be a, su a suicide squeeze, and the game's over. Wow. Oh, gets caught up. Try to make that play. Way too long. You, you, he held down to the ball too long, and that's another thing too, right? You want to get it to the...